Oh, you're gonna sing, Charlene? Hello, it's Marty A. Johnson show. Charlene, you singing today? Yes. <laughs> oh, hold on, Lavelle. Guess what, Lavelle? Signing. You know, I always, I always got something to say. I guess Charlene brought her two group members with her. You see, <laughs> <laughs> the Supremes. <laughs> she brought yeah, um. We, we all singing Michelle. tonight. We all singing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said she said she bringing her other group members with her today. So you bring your other group members with you today? Yeah. They're not gonna make, yeah. They're not yeah. making no debut and pop out, are they? No, nah, they're gonna stay in. They're gonna stay in. Yeah, because we will we'll get in big trouble for that. <laughs> That's funny. So so who's excited as, as much as I am? Me. <laughs> okay, let's do our intro. Then I'm you know how it is. I'm gonna get it together shortly. I actually took notes and everything. Our special guest is coming. Mm -hmm. um, let's, let's get ready. And share this video with me, please. For me, please. Yes, please share. Show some love. Classic R&B. What up, Eric Benet and Faith Evans? Marty A. Johnson here, along with Charlie if you're not familiar with us, Tuesday night is the Marty A. Johnson Show. Real talk, real conversation. It is what it is. If you want to be a guest here on the show, tell me what you need to do. Hold on, is um, Eric Benet a legend? Absolutely. So Eric Benet, come check out the platform, man. Real talk, real conversation. Hey, you're welcome to join us too. We take it together, have a reunion. We can come on separately. Tap in Tuesday night. I'm at Marty A. Johnson and everything is yours. Tap into the boom sound back. Let's get you tonight. So you know, I'm about to open it up in a minute. Today is Thursday. This is not our scheduled night. So we look when when the special guests say come on Sunday, um, we come. So they actually come for us. We definitely appreciate it. Um, we got Mila from 702, the lead singer. Is um is Mila a legend? Well, is 702 a legend? I I would put them up there with the legendary groups. Yeah. Um, that opened the door for pretty much every you know, female group after you. Yeah. Um, sorry. Charlene, can, um, but Mila did a lot of work, didn't she? I like I like the idea that um, she could sing. Sing. Sang. Yeah. Yeah, she sang. Um, what's your favorite joint by the girls? Um, mine is... You stay on my side. What is that one? D-Lo. Oh, that's cute. Charlene, that's cute. <laughs> oh. I ain't gonna lie, I got a few. I have a few too. Tell me, your, tell me a couple of your few. I'll be honest, my favorite uh, verse by her um, was um, the, the verse she did in BB911 with Magoo and uh, Missy. Okay. I think that's legendary. And also, of course, um, I like get it together. I think that's one of the best. Oh yeah, be ballads of all time, done by a female group especially. I, mm -hmm. I, yeah, she took her. She took her time. She she sung it and everything. That's one of them ones, man. I I I agree. I definitely agree. Um, yeah, I love you. Send her good vibes in advance. Um, but we can still tap in while we're waiting, right? Yes, let's what, do it. What, what we got? What we got? What we got? So. Since it's um the nineties, we I wasn't someone sent something from from the group. I I was going through the emails and all mm -hmm. that stuff, and I was like, let me snatch one of these. Um, I think someone did this already, but this is a different artist, so okay, we'll see. Y'all ready? Let's yes. get it. Yes, but then once the music, if we had time, we might listen to it. Charlene, we didn't send it to maybe. Marty Johnson four at Gmail. Marty Johnson. Four at Gmail. What's up, Maya? It's the Marty A. Johnson Show, along with LaBelle and Charlene. You're a Grammy Award winner and a legend. We would love to have you on this platform. Hold on, is Maya a legend? 
legendary. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> well, Charlene, we have Georgia. Okay, Georgia. Georgia's doing her rendition of Falling. Okay. Everything is me. Okay. Sing it, Marty Maul. Hey. Um, that's 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 my album. I can sing now. I don't want to make it about me now. <laughs> but um we hope so. We hope it's good. But Mila's coming. Um Lavelle. Well, it would be nice first if we can get Maya on here. Wouldn't that be good? Yeah, that would, that would be new. But yeah, if we ain't feeling this joint, it's getting a cut. Quick. Yes. Real quick. quick. And um hold on try to get my email up so I can see if I can email them really, really quick. So hopefully, hopefully it can last so I can at least send um her people's you know a text and say where's she at? Mm -hmm. Um we don't get this, we didn't we don't hear this till when? Till now. Come on. Come on, girl. Okay, let me give some justice. My apologies. I saw your here. eyeballs, LaVille. <laughs> Mila is here. Hey, Mila. Come on. Can she make it to the hook? Come on, girl. Okay, um, okay. Well, I'm all about good background vocals. Just ask Mila. She sung lead in. She's a good background vocalist. Charlie, what happened to Georgia? Um, that might have been too big for her, you know. Um, but she has a beautiful voice. Her voice I is. Them. I can. Her voice is phenomenal. Just not on that song. I agree. Lavelle, would you call sign for her, or would you just tell her to get another record? Another record, and yeah, utilize that voice. The voice has potential, but uh, okay. she was bleeding all the notes and this, mm, this, yeah. When Off she pitch. Her falling, she fell. Yeah. She tripped. Falling, yeah. In the meantime, Maya, tap all the way in. Remember, this is the only platform with celebrity guests. This is Marty A. Johnson's show. That part. So, um, Mila's here. Um, she's fixing her camera and stuff. Her hair's flowing. It looks, she looks great. Um, <laughs> what's in her good vibes in advance? Mila, if you see me and can hear me, throw up the peace sign for me, please. Okay, so let me build up the moment. So Mila may not be familiar with our platform. However, we're going to build up the moment. So, like I said, we have some of the biggest stars in the world. We want to celebrate her. We want to um, tap in. And we're going to have a good old time. So I want to tell people, we do BTS all the time. We do BTS for all our celebrity guests that we want on the show. And voila, they come. Just ask Speech. Just ask SWV. Now, this one here. And then I'm going to show what we did to get her on the show. And then I'm going to let her in. This is what we did to get her on the show. Misha, Mila, Iris. Why are you jumping here? Ladies, I'm in the 90s, the legend edition. Come on the show and chop it up with us. My name is Marty. What's your name? I'm Sean LaBelle here. Girls, come on together. I can come on separately. That's all about y'all. They have all seven of the biggest acts in the world. You're one of them from the 90s. Let's catch y'all. Corey. Oh, this camera is. Let's get these girls on the show. ASAP. <laughs> Marty A. Johnson, new season. This is tribute to the 90s. If you watch that, tell you. We're waiting for you. We'll see you soon.
So let me tell you, let me say, let me say this. Um, hold on. We're looking for Mila. Is this the, the daughter? Because Mila has not aged. What's going on? None. None at all. Not, girl, I'm not a good liar. <laughs> Girl, hey, stop it. Hey, she is not. She, girl, she is not. Right. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you for the amazing intro and for the oh, whole. Hold on. Let's give our real tease, introduction. Like, thank you. Thank you. That was um, you. She, she burst on the scene in the in the mid nineties. Um, her voice is angelic. It's distinguished. Oh. It stands out. Yeah. It, it holds. It holds its own. And I'm not a good liar. I tell her like the T.I. is. Um, those may know her. They may know her as the lead singer of 702. However, she worked with some of the who's who's in the business. Missy Elliott. Pharrell. Yeah. Our good friend Darnell Jones. Faith Evans. Macy Gray. Raphael Sadiq. The Clips. <laughs> Seriously. Um, some of the soundtracks of my childhood. Yes. Get it oh. together. Hey, I love that song. Um, <laughs> but, but no, but so some of y'all know, a lot of y'all know the hits. We all know Get It Together. We all know, we all know Skilo. Right. Yes. We all know where, where, where my girl's at. But no, but if you really keep up with the movement, you're going to know, right. you don't know what to do. Hey. You don't know that one? Yes. I still love you. <laughs> Gotta that's, leave, mm -hmm. and and truth be told, my personal favorite um, track number eight on the first album, <laughs> "Word Is Born." What is that? Oh, is it, is it number eight? Okay, this number, trust this is number eight. <laughs> um, no, like I said, um, she's known Thank for being a lead singer, but still growing. She also sing background. You might have heard um, "Burning Up." My heart's up burning <laughs> up. That's her in the background. <laughs> for real, Faith Evans, you get no love. That's for yeah. real. Oh, Hold on, girl, my lion. <laughs> um, we have Mila. Here. Mila, I'm Marty. How are you, <laughs> Marty? That was such a dope setup. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. first off, we are so glad to have you here on the Marty A. Johnson show. Yeah. Um, so hey, y'all. I want to introduce you. This is my esteemed panel. This is my esteemed panel here. This camera. My Really doing shows and stunts and everything in between. So pardon me, honey. It's fine. Get a new one. We we overkill her for the school year when my son was using it for school child. I didn't realize she a little tilted. Yep, you're fine. <laughs> it's okay. I want to say hello to my esteemed panel, Charlene. Charlene, say hi. Hi, right. sweetheart. Hi. Great hi, to hey, have hi. you. Great hey. to have you on the show. I'm so happy to be here. I saw the tease. Thank you so much of what it took to get me here. That was cute in the car. I appreciate it. That's cute. <laughs> Look, you here. How you doing, Mila? Right, it works. Hey, how you doing, bro? Doing all right. Good. So all of y'all are where? Where are you based? Um, y'all area, right? Um, we're being well, wherever we need to be, but we we get in the Carolina. Okay. <laughs> wherever we need to be. <laughs> Understood. Oh, oh, it okay. It's, it's all where you need to be. But it's not about y'all. But look, we want to have a good time. We want to be as you can tell, we said in the moment, right? We want to celebrate you. Okay. We do. Right. Thank um, you. Take the love. Um, like, right, thank you so I, much. Shout out to uh, the other platforms. I'm not. We're not going to do some of them skip scripted questions right. that they're going to ask. We're going to have great conversation. Let's do it. It's yeah. whatever. Ooh, <laughs> my type. She's my type of people. So, um, first off, where you at? Are you, are you still in Atlanta, Georgia? I'm nosy. In case you don't know, are you still in Georgia? I, yeah, me too. It's all good. I'm in Atlanta. I don't know why and how I've been here as long as I have. But yes, I am still in Atlanta. I've been here for 13 years now. I moved here from LA back in mm -hmm. 2009. Okay. Yep. So tell me how life's been treating you I'm the like past. Outside, you know, I'm like in Atlanta. I'm about 45 minutes out of the city. Well, we'll be back there in, in a couple of days. So. Okay. <laughs> we're doing, we're, we're, seeing our good, we're going to see our good friend Jay Holiday while we're there. Okay, nice. I saw him back in, when last time I saw Jay Holiday? I think December. He and I did a Christmas event for Q Parker of 112. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, how has first of how's life been treating you the past couple years? I cannot complain. I can't complain. Like it's been um, I mean, well, honey, like the rest of us, you know, mm -hmm. with the whole uh, pandemic, it was an interesting right. ride. 
<laughs> um, a few peaks and valleys and everything in between, but God is good. I'm still standing. I'm still breathing. My family's healthy. We're all well, you know, so I cannot complain too much, but um, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful to still be here, still have the opportunity to do shows like this, still perform with my girls by myself. Like I'm just, I'm really appreciative and humbled and, and, and really thankful to God that through it all, like, you know, I'm still around because, you know, I had a few people didn't make it, you know what I mean? Right. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot, but it's been cool. You know, I'm back, I'm, I'm, I'm back into the, you know, swing of things, trying to hop back on the horse and get it going, honey. Mm -hmm. you know. No, but just, um, also different day, same ish, different toilet, you know. <laughs> that part. <laughs> that part. First, first of, hold on real quick. Let me shout out um, Misha and Iris. Hey, hey, girls. Hey, I, did, hey, I, 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 I did reach out to y'all too, but Mila was the first one to say she's here. I, I did reach out to them. So <laughs> I, I did. Know. Okay, good. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Try to get us back here collectively. That would be dope if the three of us could come back together. Oh, well, don't worry. We can. We would um, love that. I'm gonna tell. Yes. I'm gonna tell. You, I'm gonna tell you what I know, and I'm gonna tell you about that a little bit later. I know y'all have a show coming up in, in my area, and I want to come out with camera crew and all. So. I oh, okay. Oh, you did. Wait, you, Carolina, you said right. Mm -hmm. But but we travel a lot. We we travel. We travel. Okay. It's, hey, it's area from, sorry. Okay, so I was strong and wrong. But yeah, but we we are in the <laughs> Carolinas. We are in okay. the Carolinas. Right. Why, so, okay. So let's jump right into it. We want to really, we really want to celebrate you. Like I said, Thanks. some stuff I want to skip around to get to Mila today because we we look, we all know the history of 702. We know how they got started. If not, you better go on YouTube. Right. Seriously. Right. No. Right. You know, everything on the internet is not always accurate. Of course, there's always some extra information in there. But right, you you got the gist, honey. We don't need the long drawn right. story about 702. Got no, I'm not, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. First off, okay. I want to say. When when you came when you came in in the group, I first I first wanted to start off with this. When you um when you first came in the group, you I'm gonna dress this up nicely. You pretty <laughs> much no, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm sorry. You pretty much beat the stigma as coming into an established situation. Um, don't take this the wrong way because I, I I love all the dark skinned girls. You came in being the front, right off the back when when female groups coming in. The brown skin girl, Notori, and girl, you know I love you, Notori. You're not pretty much the focal point of the group when there's light, bright other girls in the group. And I, I really like how you pretty much made it. You just pretty much made it your own. No insecurities. If you did, I can't tell. But no, but you really, really embraced it, and I feel like there was empowerment mainly for other um, brown skin and brown dark skin. girls. Ser yeah. Seriously. Yeah. And no, I really I mean you just being an inspiration for that right off the bat. Well, thank you for pointing that out. Um, you know, I, I have um, other brown skin women who, like you, notice that and honor that and, and, and acknowledge that and thank me for that. And I'm like, you know, I don't even know that that was my agenda. Being so young, you know, I wasn't even thinking about that, but I'm so grateful. Right. And in hindsight, absolutely. I, um, you know, I, I've, I've definitely taken notice that I definitely... I guess broke the mold, if you will, or beat the stigma, as you as you put it. Mm -hmm. um, it's unfortunate that that's a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's very mm -hmm. unfortunate that colorism still exists within the culture. It's unfortunate that that's a conversation that we're even still having in 2022. It's it, it, it's quite disturbing and dis disgusting to say the least. But it is what it is. Um, it's learned behavior behavior, you know, from Massa um, <laughs> that we just mm -hmm. we've not broken that um, that the, the cycle. Um, yeah. That pattern of, of behavior has clearly not been <sighs> broken by us. We've we've just carried that baton. But right. um, thank you. Uh, you know, I before I got in the group, four girls it was, um, and they mm -hmm. all, happened to all yeah be of a certain hue, uh, lighter of lighter brown than myself. But I didn't even look at it as okay. I'm going into this group of light skinned girls. I honestly just audition as I was asked to do because management took notice of my talent at our performing arts high school and I auditioned for management, I auditioned for Michael Bivens and eventually I got my contract with Motown mm -hmm. and I think, you know, once the voice was heard, you know, it was it was, it was nothing left. It was nothing else to do but honor, you know, honor the vocal, honor the, the, the voice and the sound mm -hmm. and it just, it just resonated with all mm -hmm. parties involved, the executives, the management, it just resonated with, I guess it just was deemed as 
a radio friendly voice maybe mm -hmm. um because i didn't even go in as like okay we're gonna make you the lead singer that was not what i was told i just was brought in told that like you know mike Bivens is switching up the group and uh misha right. who was the lead singer at the time uh just he wanted more lead vocals he wanted someone who could also do lead to help Misha out with leads so that she wouldn't be doing it all on her own because at the time it was four girls but she had the strongest voice at the time of the four of them and so she was doing all the lead but he wanted someone else that could kind of come in and help her out so it wouldn't all be on her um, but when I came in by default I just kind of ended up leading all the songs friend <laughs> <laughs> you know so um, but you know listen it's so funny because although I was the lead singer if you will i still politics of politics and 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 the way now that i'm a grown woman i you know i see it now for what it is right. like so mm -hmm. i was doing all the vocals you better believe they made sure they put the quote unquote pretty girl in the middle the eye candy in the middle do you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah. so honey chocolate was often not in the middle even though i was doing most of the work right <laughs> did y'all split the money oh, oh, evenly oh, oh, oh. Okay. Look, let me ask that. Did y'all split the money evenly back then? Did y'all split the money evenly? Of course. You say you did at first? Of course. No, I said, of course. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. A third, a third, a third. I didn't get no more. If that's what you're asking, did I get paid anymore? No, sir. <laughs> no, I wanted to know. No. I want to get to that. I'm going to get to that a little bit, a little bit later. I want to ask that right off the bat because a lot of groups, um, okay, John John from Silk and Lil G, they don't split the money evenly. And they're all original members. Oh. No, look. look None of them boys do. Lavelle, give me someone else. Um, Allure, shout out to Allure. Cause they, these people are all friends to the show. Allure, Allure. Next. Um, Allure, they do, the girls do split the money evenly. Um, Drew Hill does not. They don't split the money evenly. In Vogue, in Vogue does not. Um, and give me a, and give me another one. But any anyhow, but it's really good in the beginning. Y'all did that. Hilo. Hilo when it first came on came on burst on the team because that's how we know the subway joint that back in the day before the first when the main album came out the self-titled album we just knew the three of y'all yeah there, there was not an album uh a full album from 702 before i correct yeah yeah so pretty much to me you're to me you're when you were really introduced to the world to me you're an original member i don't care what they say that that's the only thing i know right off the bat I think about yeah. seriously. Um, D, were you really prepared for the success of the first single? No, <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't. It, everything happened so fast, and just really quick to you know rewind. Uh, real, real quick, what you said, like I, what you said in terms of me being an original member. Thank you. I mean, I to the world, absolutely to the masses. Yes, uh, I'm probably perceived as, as an original member. Uh, if you, of course weren't really privy to this little game, the song that they were featured mm -hmm. on with Subway. But the original members were definitely, um, you know, Lamisha Irish and Orish, who's now deceased, rest in peace, God, Prince dead. God, Those are three sisters. They, you mm -hmm. know, they are three blood sisters, same mother, same father. And then there was a friend in the group, Amelia Childs. I took the place of Amelia and Orish, um, who is Irish's twin, who is, you know, sisters okay. with her. So I, I never, I never would, I would never take, you know, I don't ever want to take that away. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. um, they definitely formed a group before me and were signed, um, got noticed by Sinbad, who then told them to go to, you know, the Jack the Rapper, who, um, which caught the attention of Michael Bivens, and then, the, then they were signed, and that's what got them the song with his group Subway. I'll never take that away from them. Um, however, yes. The world was introduced to a full 702 album once Mila got in the group after he realized, all right, that was that single, but I want to remix the group so that we can go ahead and finish this album. That's when he brought me in. But I just want to make it clear that, honey, I am not trying to take the place of those four girls that definitely did the work to get there. We, we took, we took, thank you for explaining that. And I, I love, I love the first single. And, and people don't realize. There was two videos to Skilo. There was two it, videos in the beginning. Because Michael told me I was fat, so he. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> right. It was two Skilo videos. Yes. 
um, we did one in New York. Well, actually, it was both in New York, right? Yeah. So we did. So right out of high school, um, we moved to New York and we filmed. Uh, we went and shot the videos for the video for Stilo, the first mm -hmm. single. And um, you know, I thought we was doing something, honey. I thought we was cute. And then Michael Bivens was not there um, at the actual shoot. But when they sent okay. it to him, show him, he was just like, mm -mm, "Nope." Like <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he, he verbatim. I think he pretty much told them like, "No, Mila and Nisha need to." What did he say? Um, lay off the midnight snacks. End quote. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> Baby. Oh. And we were like all of 17, 18. I definitely had baby fat still popping off around the face, the hips, everywhere. Honey, I just was a thickums in high school. And baby, I about went back to that. It, you know, as a 40 plus year old woman, it is what it is. It's just like mama has always had curves. But right. at the time, I didn't understand, like, but I didn't, you know, I'm 17. I'm just like, look, I'm honey, from my viewpoint, ain't nobody replaceable irreplaceable whatever you know what i'm trying to say so i'm like let me just do my job okay i, I need to lose weight let me lose weight <laughs> so, I can, so i can keep my gig so yeah we ended up having to shoot another video but looking back it makes sense because if you compare the two you know face was a little more chisel mm -hmm. in the second one you know what i'm saying collarbone popping <laughs> The, the second one seemed like it had a big budget behind it for the second the second take seemed like it had a big a budget Right, my right. It was it was a little more just in studio. We brought in Lorianne. Well, Lorianne actually was probably, probably part of the first one. And Missy, of course, was always part of the first one. But you might be right, friend. We had an upgrade on the on the outfit time. Huh? We had a little extra extra things happening. We had silhouettes and and, and, and mm -hmm. leather and well, <laughs> the, that don't know who Lorianne is, she's the but, Kiki Ka, the New Yorker, the the now she's legendary choreographer. She's legendary oh, now. Yes. 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 Heck, honey, yes. But Mila, the crazy that. thing when you see you, the crazy thing, you have such an East Coast vibe. I've been told that. I don't know why. I mean, it ain't you much. Do. I love it. I love the East Coast, but I don't. I, it's interesting because I'm not like you know trying to be from the East Coast. I don't even know what that means, but I've been told that it's interesting. But, but you know, people from um, people thought we was from New York for a very long time, but I think it's because. Motown just kind of pushed, you know, the the the, pro, the promotion and everything. Just the videos that were shot. Everything Motown was in New York. You know New what I mean? Okay. All the promo, all the street team, all like everything was was over there. It was they moved us over there straight out of high school? We lived in Jersey. We lived, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, and then Missy was from the East Coast, and it's just it's just so most of our album felt very. The first album especially felt very East Coast, but man now and you know we some west coast girls i mean misha and iris were born in houston actually um but they've been in vegas since they were really little but that's crazy i mean of course hence the the name 702 that's the area code of vegas but we fought Dude, hard hold on. hold on hold on are you sure we fought you, hard you, though friend. i'm gonna well, tell friend i'm at you i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you this now i'm glad you're here i'm gonna have to take you guys to court let me tell you why i'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna tell you why, cause truth <laughs> be told, I'm gonna tell you why. This is facts. I'm gonna tell you. Don't you show me my witness, cause 702 be my name, cause that's my birthday. 702. <laughs> Where the guy? Like, okay, see. 702. What year? It is. The last second. I don't know about year. No one tell us. Okay. So. No, you're older than me by two, three years. <laughs> Look, that's neither here nor there, huh? Well, listen, we would go home and like, they would be like, I ain't doing a video in Vegas. Why y'all kissing it? Y'all ain't representing y'all. I'm mean, like, oh, they need to stop we have it. control. Like, we're just going to tell the label, shoot our video in Vegas or else. Yeah. Like, come on now. It don't work like that. No, that part. <laughs> Not back then, anyway. Shoot. So, um, you know, to this day, I feel like we have a very large presence on mm -hmm. the East Coast. A lot of our shows are on the East Coast and in, in, in down south. Like mm -hmm. to present day when we perform. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about. Um, let me tell you what I want to ask about. I want to ask about the second single, "Get It Together." Oh. Yes. Sh shout out to Darnell Jones. You may not know this. That's Darnell lovely. Jones. He's lovely. a friend of this show. He's That's a friend of the show. What up, Darnell? Darnell told me. Let me tell you what he told me. He said I had them girls name for three days. He sure I'm did. I'm doing it over and over again. He sure did. So that's and true. I tell this story as well. I tell this story every time I'm asked about that song or I just share it because as simplistic and easy and simple as that song sounds and, and, and is to sing, it was the hardest, one of the hardest sessions I'd ever had. Um, really? But I was only like 17. We literally were still in high school. I was, 
we were still in school. We were fly. We actually flew after school um, to go and do that song from LA to Vegas. And so in between takes, we was doing homework and it ended up being the entire weekend. And I didn't understand why it took so long. Like I was really getting frustrated, but there's a method to his madness. I mean, look at this, you know, the, the hit that it created. Mm -hmm. If you really listen, Donnell has me singing just like him <laughs> on that mm -hmm. song. He sings kind of clenched jawed and very, you know, very tight lipped, if you will, and just so soft and emotional. I was 17, so I really didn't have that much experience of not wanting to go or stay and all of that, child. He wrote, now that I've seen his unsung, that song was written about like him and I think his ex-wife, his first love, his um, baby mother, his first wife, who okay. I think was like his high school love. He was 20 something and married and trying to understand or, or trying to, you know, I guess, figure out what he wanted to do in terms of like his career and his what real life experience he was writing from his own story and i had to deliver that deliver that story for him. yeah and i'm in 12th grade child i'm looking like what what more emotion do you want i didn't get it like it was just like i sound good so what else do you want? <laughs> but it's more than just sounding good you know you have to evoke that emotion like that merry mm -hmm. pain yes you know, and, and and I didn't have it then. I mean, I could fake it till I make it because I always have been an emotional singer just coming from gospel. What black oh, girl, yeah. most girls up in yeah. the church really, really can't, you know, do that. But I did not know why it took so long. But when I tell you, it makes so much sense to me now. Mm -hmm. like, that's one of my favorite songs. And it just, there was a method to his madness. It really was. And we're going to have, Mila, throughout the, this, our conversation, we're going to have some fun. As you've seen before, <laughs> As you seen before, when you came, when you was in the in the waiting room coming in, we have a we have a segment called Tap In. Y'all are horrible. No, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna okay, we're gonna do that throughout the show with you. And a lot there's a lot of artists that's doing their renditions of some of y'all biggest hits. First oh. off, I'm gonna give you first off, I'm gonna let you see an example of how it really gets down. Okay, then we're gonna play with you. Lavelle, come in the promo, please. Lord, okay. No, Lavelle. Oh no, he on, he's okay right now. But I'm um I'm pulling it up. So you can see how how it is. Because we want you to participate. And, and some of the people you might know. Okay. Some friends to the show. Dr. Marty Johnson show. Listen, this is our celebrity edition. Jay Holiday, aka Mr. Bed, Mr. Time. We're gonna tap in. Right now, Charlene. Amir is doing his rendition of Suffocate. <laughs> oh, God. Holiday. Oh, yeah, you got the man himself up, bro. Don't mess it up. Jay, we're not feeling the record. Cut it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Cut it. My bad. Cut it. We got, we got. We got that you win, Lavelle. Right now. What? I don't think about what I'm going to do to you. Got me feeding for the love can lie. Man, you should see how she got me spent to me. I serve the cake when you're away from me. So much love you take from me. I'm going out of my mind. I'm not bad, but it kind of like, oh, if I heard this at karaoke, oh, dude, going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember, this is the only platform that taps in with celebrity guests. Just ask uh, Jay Holiday. So remember, this Tap is in. Okay, so you got the logistics of it, correct? I don't know, but come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, Mila, hold on. But make sure your um face is not chopped up, okay? You ready? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be ready. Charlie, y'all ready? Ready? Mm. I'm a nervous. What's about to happen? Wait, wait, mm. just your hand. Okay. What's up, world? It's the Marty A. John show. Listen, this is our celebrity edition of Tap In. We got now our good friend Mila from 702. Mila, say what's up to the people. What's up to the people? <laughs> Charlene. Yes. We have an artist named Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Tyler's doing their rendition of Get It Together. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay, Tyler. Let's see what you're going to do. You better have it together. I, I got okay. it. Mila. Okay, Mila. Yes. If we're not, Mila, if you're not feeling it, what's going to happen, Mila? You got to give it what? Honey, we need to cut him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you're our type of people too to cut it. <laughs> um, so, so look, um, 
Mila's going to have the final say since she's a special guest. But look at LaBelle and Charlene. They're going to be um letting you know what the cuts if they're not feeling it. But once you say cut, <laughs> that's the end of the record, okay? Oh um, LaBelle, oh. LaBelle, we don't hear this to win, LaBelle. Right now. I'm praying for you, Tyler. Together, Tyler. Yeah. Together. Give it a chance. Get it together. I don't really want to go. I don't really want to go. You don't know the pain that I feel. You've taken my love for granted and you just want to see it your way. Yeah, 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 it's about that time. I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. I'm fed up with you now. Been here with me when you know love is all I need. I don't want to stay. No, no. Can we get it? Yeah. And I don't want to. I don't really want to stay. No. Can we get it together? Let's get it together, baby. Don't be nice, Mia, if you don't like it. Cause being confused if you don't like it, like this, I hope we can start like brand new. I hope you like Cause I don't want to lose you. Oh, no, no. With the love we share. Baby, it's all so rare. Okay. I'm willing to try and make you see that all you need is here with me. Ow. Okay. I don't want to stay. I don't want to go. notes you know the certain riffs and the certain notes okay. i think it did good i liked it i wasn't mad i heard worse that's why i let it go as long as i did i have heard worse the only thing they be killing me is just some generic backgrounds but i guess that's karaoke i don't know where they be getting this, <laughs> this from but um it was cool i've heard worse he sounded good actually okay i can't stand y'all like mm? okay <laughs> so look we will re remind y'all you can say what you want because this is the only platform that taps in with celebrity <laughs> guests remember this ask mila in case you don't know, this is Marty A. Johnson's show. Trust me. So we don't have problems. We're going to use that. Trust me. Oh, my God. All right. So, look, if you're late if you're late for the show, we have the lead vocalist of 702. First off, do you get, do, how do you feel when people say of 702 or, or the lead singer? How do you feel like with a title, people to recognize you? Um, you know, for so long, I, I downplayed being the lead singer, but honey, uh, the lead singer of 702 would be nice. Thank you. That works. Mm -hmm. The lead singer of 702. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, some people call you the voice of 702. I don't want to go, uh, you know, I'll keep it humble. I ain't trying to do that. But okay. for the longest, I wouldn't even acknowledge that, like, I would feel bad being like, oh, it's okay. You don't have to see lead singer. But now I'm like, yeah, shit, the lead singer of 702. <laughs> it is what it is. That part. Uh, cocky or nothing it's just factual that's all no it's okay to play your position uh in, in, a, in a group situation let that's me tell it. some that's people, it. there's a lot of people in the group 
took me a long time to get there. Like I always just wanted to, cause I didn't want to, you know, it was always so much, it already is just such an uncomfortable situation. Like I would just always feel bad cause I kind of came in, you know, I, I came in after the group had already been established. So I would kind of always just be like, ah. Um, but now all these years later, it's like, child, <laughs> it's what it is. Mm -hmm. That part. Like, we still fussing over that, baby. Yeah. We may well throw in the towel. We ain't gonna ever make it. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't throwing the towel on y'all. So after the first time, I wanted to ask you, um, was it any, um, probably as any new artists when you first come in, you're, you're still kids, 17, 18, still in high school. Was the money situation great? Because back then, that's when people actually bought albums. Right? It was awesome back then. Absolutely. I mean, unfortunately, we probably didn't have the best, you know, um, guidance in terms of like financial guidance right. and like most you know we made a lot of money and it's like dag okay do we have anything to show for you make a lot of money and you spend it unfortunately you're you're so excited and young and, and just yeah. clueless that you you just frivolous frivolously spend and you look up and it's like oh shoot what happened to all the money right but back then heck yeah we we definitely came into a lot of money um not only because of album sales but we were we was grinding that first album, especially. We were doing like two, sometimes three, no lie, shows in one day in different states. Mm, oh, wow. Y'all was getting it, for real. It, it might have been child labor laws needed to be cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's a good old day. <laughs> Work me. <laughs> no, we was, I loved it. What? I thought that's how it went, how it was supposed to go. Um, and then by the second album, things had changed a little bit. But that was one of our biggest records. Mm -hmm. uh, so, unfortunately, though, you know, when you don't write on the album, mm -hmm. you don't see that. Don't, thank God for streaming. And well, streaming, you really get that much money. But now, thank God for, you know, the di digital stuff because yeah. Yeah. even though we didn't write on certain stuff, you still get now with streaming, you have like performance royalties and digital royalties right. and things like that that we didn't have before. So that's dope. Before I talk about the second album, do you like the industry better now or? No. Back then, how do you what you think on history right now versus back then? Back then, I like it better. Back then, I like the fact that there are more platforms for independent artists such as okay. myself now to you know do your thing, and um, there's a lot more, uh, I guess, visibility, if you will. Mm -hmm. Uh, but although being signed to a major definitely feels like you're being pimped, that major coin helps, you know, having um. The budget from a major definitely helps because <laughs> it's tough trying to do it by yourself for real. Uh, but I don't necessarily like today because it's so image driven and it's not about the talent anymore. It's not about real singing or mm -hmm. real raw talent. Oh, yes, yes. You know, it's about if my if I got a fake ass and I don't, so I'm not winning right, right now. I got five followers because I don't have <sighs> a Brazilian butt lift, so I might have to think about that. <laughs> you, 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 no, you, you, you're fine. <laughs> but seriously, I, I don't like that aspect yeah. of it. I and mean, you know, it feels like I mean, sex is always sold. We know that, but now it's just like anybody could put a record out. If you cute, you got a little book, yeah. honey, and already yeah. got a following, honey. Yeah. Don't let you have a little fake blue check mark. It's on. You don't need. You don't need much. You get your little ghost rider and you popping. You popping, popping. That's it. So I could be out here singing for my life, doing child vocal acrobatics until my throat bleeds and nobody cares. <laughs> you ain't doing X, Y, Z. They're like, bye, girl. <laughs> right. But, you know, I do appreciate that there is a lot of new talent out there mm -hmm. uh, amongst this new generation that are very, very, very creative and extremely talented and gifted. Um, and because of social media, we've been introduced to some of those that mm -hmm. we may not have before. So that's the, that's the upside of social media, you know what I mean, and, and, and the industry now. But it's a little tricky, it's a little different for us, artists that came out back in the day that are not, that are not used to this right. way. But you know, listen, you either, you, as the saying goes, if you, if, you, if you can't beat them, join them, or you know, you're gonna get left it behind. So you have to evolve, you know, with the times for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you don't have to, but you know what I mean? Like- Oh, you'll be stuck. Oh, you'll be stuck. Okay. Yeah, you be at That's the house somewhere in between. Like for me, I I don't jump on the bandwagon because I'm just not interested. Um, but I do understand how it works. You know what I mean? I, I get it. it. What, I get it. What, I, I, mm -hmm. no, I care. I just don't know that I care that much to like really be 
on social media like every day, all day, you know, reels, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitch, Patreon. Like, well, at least with Twitch and Patreon, you get paid, but like, you know, you so it you get paid. Well, you could honestly now I think everything is monetized. You can get money from it, but it's just it's a lot of work. It's a lot of when you're grown with kids and stuff Baby, like that. I was about to say, <laughs> you know. I'm like, grown. I got I got I, rental I, units and everything. My son does my social media for me. I don't have time. I, I tell my son to do it here. <laughs> do it. <laughs> that's very friend, because baby, I be looking like child. Anybody got time for all that? I don't I got time for that. I'll post them. my, my the summer supplies back to half of them for me. I don't got time. <laughs> Period. <laughs> but no, but I understand it though. I get it, and um, you know. I don't knock. I don't knock it at all for these kids who are utilizing it. That's what it's there for. It's for. It's for. Mm-hmm. Well, it's for all of us, but it, they definitely, you know, their generation. Yeah. They stay on it. The, stay down to the tick end of talk, honey. Yes. They, <laughs> they love it. Gr- yeah. Where my girls at? Yep. Huge, huge record. M- Missy wrote a banger. Um, rumor has it a lot of people don't know that was originally for TLC. Mm-hmm. Yep, TLC. Um, to my understanding, um, it was Missy wrote for TLC first, and they passed on it, and so she then played it for us. And uh, we was like, okay, we recorded it, and yeah, it became our biggest hit. So um, two minutes and, and two oh, minutes really? and two, twelve I, seconds of a hit. <laughs> Say again. I said two minutes and thirty six seconds, and it's 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 a classic. Right? I'm so grateful. Like, it is definitely, you know, um, hands down one of the most legendary girl anthems out there um, for the culture, even in pop culture um, around the world. It's an international hit. So I'm grateful for that. It is um, oftentimes, you know, I hear it randomly places and I'll I'll be forgetting like, oh, 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 okay. That's that's me. Okay. Hey, girl. (laughs) Yeah, that's you. That's you. Girl, it is pretty big, huh? It is. It's like I'm so grateful. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, those people know. <laughs> um, what can what can you share? A lot of people may not know because I want to see if I can get some gems out of here. Um, tell me a a hit single that's out that either you or 702 passed on and it became like a big massive hit that we passed on. Yes. Shoot, a big massive hit. Dang. Something that we might know. I know like Slave for You for for Britney. Um, it was originally for Janet. Then um Britney took it. Say like, what? Okay. Yeah, yes. So I just wanted to know. And- if, I, I bet you was something out there, honey. I don't even know. I can't think of it. My girls might know. I don't know. Um, that we passed. Uh, I don't need friend. I don't know, Marty. And no, next week. No, <laughs> but you guys on you had the biggest, you had the biggest hit. Let me tell you crazy thing. The biggest album, big, huge single, y'all on top of the world, and you girls can't get along. <laughs> Ain't that usually Look. the case with successful groups? Ain't that how I go? <laughs> Trust me, I've been I've been in that situation before. I had to keep the train moving, but um, it's a crazy at, at the peak. Yeah. Um. In a nutshell, yeah. what what happened? Did they really try to fight your mama? Uh, yes, one of them. Uh huh. Misha. Oh, mm-hmm. it's Marty A. Johnson show. You know, I get to nitty gritty. Yeah, you got that from Unsung, I'm sure. Yeah. I didn't get it from Un- Unsung. I didn't watch Unsung. I didn't watch it. I, I didn't watch it on purpose because I didn't want to ask them the same questions. Oh, no, no. I, pur- I purposely not watch it. Oh, that's just, that Unsung was a few years old, so it, you could have asked the same questions. We did that, what, 2017, I think? Um, But yeah, that was the case. And, um, you know, it was, it was an attempt, but of course, that didn't happen because I wasn't that wasn't gonna go down. That was, would have been just massive foolery. Um but you know it's water under the bridge. I try not to even think about that anymore because I don't want to harp on the past. Yeah I know because I want to give the fans a show. Yeah but I want to talk about Mila. So I, I have to you know leave those things in the past. Um we've since moved on Misha and I have since of course you know made up and she's since apologized to me and you know it's water under the bridge. That's good. At this point, that's good. How how was it yeah. for you as? But I mean, but of course that's why you know you didn't hear from us for a little while, and mm-hmm. after the when my girls the album, it took a few years until the next one. Um, 
listen, I'm I'm not I'm not really a um I was hired to do a job for 702. I did my job. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, no matter who liked it or didn't like it, it worked because we sold albums and we made hits. Yes. And so for me, you know, I'm never gonna get violent with anyone. I don't have to, I don't need to because um I think my absence from the group will always be more powerful yes. than any punch or slap or anything. That, whether that's whether that part not. right there. That part. Okay, mm-hmm. so we can move on. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mila, Mila solo on her own. <laughs> Look, Mila, Mila on, on her own, being in the lead. When back then when you was younger, was it harder for you just being a lead than going back and singing background? Is that, is that hard? hard? You know what? It actually was harder. Yeah. Because, I mean, first of all, just the freaking humility of it all. Like, I had to eat a piece of humble pie. And um, it's harder because people think, oh, you ain't doing it. You're just singing back. No, that, let me tell you, singing backgrounds is a skill, honey. Yes. You have to listen to n- not just whoever else you're singing with, the lead as well. Not be trying to sing the lead if you naturally, you know, are yeah. a lead in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and then don't 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 be a fan of the leader as well because you want to sing along, <laughs> along with them. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's tough. Um, you have to really know how to harmonize because just because you can sing your face off and or, or if you can like you know you just a dope lead singer that doesn't always mean you're great at harmonizing. Harmonizing, true. Right. Everybody okay. knows. True scales everybody didn't know harmonies everybody didn't know how to blend so it's a skill man and i learned all of those things some of those things came natural to me but some of them did not i'll be honest and i'm grateful actually i was embarrassed for a while that i ended up going that route because i'm like oh my god i'm going backwards like how can i go from selling millions of albums and being a front girl to but i had to check myself like girl you are bugging first of all it's still music and you're still Mm -hmm. traveling and you're still singing and Shoot, I was able to share the stage with some of the best of them and get it, get opportunities and experiences that I have never had with 702. And I learned a lot and I had a I had a ball actually. I ended up having the time of my life um singing background. Who do you so. tour the most with when you sing background? I'm, I would think either Macy or yes. um Macy probably. <laughs> it was Macy. I I toured her for like three years, and you know her crowd is overseas, honey. You know, she's oh, over yeah. she's in a- so we were, you know, Switzerland. Oh, my bad. Uh-oh. Russia. Sorry, okay. Bible Chapel. Ireland and just, yeah, man. I'm like, oh my gosh, places I had never even been with 702. And it was so fun, y'all. I was, oh my God, it was so freaking fun. I had a good time. I had wow. a great time. And um, and but but Macy gave me so much love. She would always let me sing. Um, like a part of her actual show was uh she gave me, I had a solo on her show every night. Nice. On, her, on one of her songs, I had a solo, um, probably a few solos, but like it was one solo that I had on I Try, a breakdown, and she let me just go for it. And then um, I'm not really a dancer like that, but honey, she made, look, she she made us dancers. If you wasn't, she made us costumes, <laughs> wigs, and flapper dresses, you know, and just, it really got me outside of my comfort zone, which is, I know, strange and weird to say, because it's like, how could you... How could you be, you know, how 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 you being in 702 and all the things that we experienced right. and did in the video out of different songs, got a, uh, everything we recorded, people we worked with, like how can you still be within like a shell? But apparently I was because her her genre was just so different. So it just kind of introduced me to just, you know, totally different things. So it kind of brought me out of my um, my element, if you will. So I had a really, a really dope time. So I I enjoyed it. Um do I want to go and start touring and doing backgrounds again? No. No. But I appreciated that time in my life. It was transitional mm-hmm. and um it was for a reason and a season, honey. And All right. Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's my next question. Speaking of transition, how how the situation come when you was temporarily a member of Total? Tell me about that situation, please. Oh my god, and I just saw Keisha like last weekend. I mean, two weekends ago at Missy's party. And when I tell you I was so happy, I love me some Keisha. I love Total. Um, they're so sweet. How did that happen? So I was over at Bad Boy when I was um under uh under management, um pedigree management with uh Todd Rusoff, Ace Evans, 
okay. same management at the time. And so I just finished, uh, with, well, I had just went, yeah, well, I had just went through that whole debacle with 702 and I was just kind of like trying to figure out my life and um, was under management um, with pedigree management. And so, you know, Faith was signed to Bad Boy. So I was just over there vibing, you know what I mean? Writing, mm -hmm. with her, writing um, with just whomever at Bad Boy, singing backgrounds, like just in the studio vibing really. And Puff just one day was just like, yo, okay, well, I know you're not with 702 no more, so what's good? <laughs> 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 you know, he kind of presented it to Todd and kind of presented it to me, like, yo, what's up? Because I think Kima at the time had yes. just left total, yeah. And so I kind of just went in the studio just, just to, you know, see, kind of flirt with the idea of it and see what, what would come of it. But honestly, I think it works out probably for the best that it didn't happen. Cause I, what I didn't want, even though I love Keisha and Pam, what I didn't want was to be like the freaking group floater, the chick, the, shit, oh, the group hoppers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Looking like what girl just going from group to group. I didn't think that was going to be a good look. So mm -hmm. it probably worked out for the best that it didn't work out. But we actually did yeah, record a few songs. Don't ask me what they add. I don't know how they sound. I don't know who produced them. What is the songs? I meant to ask Keisha that when I saw her the other day. Where are the songs? <laughs> where, where the records at? Where they at, girl? Where they at? I don't know. Them. They, they took me in like under their wings like with no questions. Super sweet. Treated me like a little sister. Nice. Um, but I already, you know, we already kind of had like a relationship and a bond because 702 of course would do shows with total and you know it was back then when it was like total 112 702 you know we all had that mm -hmm. same shows working mm -hmm. well and kima I was here and um i asked her mm -hmm. and um he, her. Um, huh? he wasn't around when i was in the group but but i knew but i know kima from just you know in passing kima styled us one time actually kima was always really mm -hmm. you want me to tell you what she said What's she saying? I got I got my receipts. Hold on. This time I gotta have receipts. On total, and you're rocking with Marty A. Johnson show. Girl groups and groups, it's hard to mesh. And blend. Who decides on who sings what? The puff or the producer, the writers and stuff. Pam had that unique voice. Why is when they have a stigma and they always say this horror stories? I'm gonna give us this. And like you know, I. Oh no, I'm responsible for my own destiny. You know what I'm saying? That 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 was to me, I look back at that as an experience, a learning lesson. I don't feel like puff oh so that's just not my story, you know. I'm telling you what I heard. Is it true during the transition they try to kick you out and put the girl from 702 in there? <laughs> yeah, that was true. But me like it didn't work. It didn't work. Like when you ask I've never been asked that Mila question before. Like you asked some difficult questions. No, this is conversation. This, this is Marty A. Johnson show. Um, Kima thought I was too nosy. <laughs> 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 you know, I'd be a too nosy girl. I wanted to ask. Ask well, that, a question. But well, they didn't kick me, kick her out to put me in. I just know she had left the group. I didn't know why. I didn't know what had happened. I didn't know if they had, had a falling out. I didn't really never know what happened. I never even inquired, really. I just knew she was no longer in the group and that Puff just needed another girl. You know, because it, it went from two to three, uh, excuse me, three, three to two. two. So they needed another one. But Kima is always so sweet and so cool. I saw her um, when my group members did that show Encore. And um, I saw her there when she was there for Pam. And she was so sweet. I hadn't seen Kima in years. And when I tell you, She's it was just like, yes. Yeah. I'm taking it off. Keep talking. He's just always got good energy and like. It ain't never been no beef between she and I because of that. Of course not. Mm -mm. Um, didn't they ask you to do um, that, that show also? You said no. Did they ask you? Correct. Why do you want to do it? You've been there, that. Um, that, that show. When, um, <laughs> you to do I heard it. you. I said, for what? <laughs> oh. oh, for what? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, <laughs> move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm going Let to tap. There you go. Uh, huh? I want to tap in again. I'm, I'm, I'm very quiet, but I'm a bit. Listen, I don't. I like that. I like. I like that about you. Hold on. <laughs> we, we... I it just, listen. I look. 
as the saying goes, all money ain't good money. And I did not feel like that was for me. But what I didn't want to do was not support my girls. So I made an appearance to support my girls. That's good. All I needed. Mm -hmm. LaBelle, do you remember who, who, who Mila is? Do you remember her? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. The voice okay. raised me pretty much. Oh, thank Boy. you. No doubt. Okay. That'd be making me feel like an auntie. <laughs> Like, no, <laughs> it did though. <laughs> I did, girl. But I mean, I am. It's all good. The kids be coming over to me, honey. When I tell you, they be like, "Oh, my mom, my mom." I, well, my mom listen to you. I be like, <laughs> "Not your mom and daddy." I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's cool. Like we did come out in '96, and it's it's been a minute. Yeah. But but you're doing. Seems like you're doing just just fine. I want to talk about the solo stuff that you was doing now, but I gotta <laughs> tap in. With um, these girls loved in this stuff. They heard you was coming. Let me do this other one, and then I got. So <laughs> <silly. laughs> it's Marty and John's show. Just ask um. Hey, you know. I you know I dropped the ball because I should have did this on a Tuesday. You said that was y'all's main day. I yes. Got, I, I got told the management. My camera is right, and I my angle is right, and I can no. Listen. Look, come yes. Okay. Please, two days is Look, yes, please. Tell me the date now. Show them get your calendar out. Let's tap in. Let's no, Mila, Tuesdays are lit. <laughs> right. No, Tuesday is our staple night. I should have come back on Tuesday. I misread the email and I was moving too fast in that moment. And so I told my girl, I was like, okay, let's do the 21st. Um, I want to come back on a Tuesday. Okay, hold on. Our viewership is, is okay, but on yeah, I'm looking at our viewership. I never look. It's it's decent, right. but on look. But on Tuesdays, it's lit. Because I oh, baby, I need to be on the lit night, honey. No, Tuesday. We told him, I said, I said, she can't do a Tuesday. That's why we said, can we just go? Well, I no. was actually going to do it on, what'd you say, the 14th or the 21st? And I was like, well, we can do the 21st or the 14th. But it was so last minute that she was like, let's just do the 21st because we no. don't want to hit y'all up at the last, last, last minute. No, but um, because I'm on another show, Lavelle, when you come back, I'm going to tap in with Lavelle. Um, okay. Andrew, we're we're going to play a game. We're gonna play okay. a game with you, Charlene. And to live hold on, do you, do you like our platform so far? So first off, yeah, like I love it. It's you know, it ain't all stuffy and oh no, no. I'm, I'm an open book, so any platform is good. Look, we have we have all we. I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell you some of the groups that have been on this show. I see okay. one of the members of Allure, hey, Kisa. Um, I had all the members of Allure here. Okay. SWV been on the show. Love them. Total in vogue. Love them. Yeah, they, they all been here. That's amazing. That's dope. I've never, you know, I don't think I've ever met in. Have I ever met in Vogue? I feel like I've never met in Vogue. I met him. I met him with the original members, and I met him with Rona. Really? And yes. So I met. I met Cindy, Maxine, Terry, and Dora. I met the original four. Um, I met the original members of Allure, and and then I met them in person, not just virtual. Allure, I met them in person. Nice. I think a I lot think of people I meet they're friends of the show. They come on multiple times. So they just don't pop really on. Like them. Okay. I, I love, love and vote. I have never met, I don't think I've ever met them. And I'm obsessed with the original, uh, with uh, with them, period. But like, of course, we grew up on the, the original. Oh, mm -hmm. Love yeah. them. Lisa Dawn. I really love her voice. I really um, love her. She's so sweet. She's such a sweetheart. Gorgeous. And her voice. And just, I just remember like growing up, like, she's so pretty. And then Cindy yeah. and I just remember being like, they're so pretty. Like, all of them. <laughs> and they just they sound so great. I was I just love them. And that oh. that Maxine, the, the harmonies. We used to um the girls used to always sing. I think they when their sisters used to always sing um the song they sang in Sparkle. Oh, give me something you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I think Misha and her sister used to always sing that. Yep. And yeah. I know you grew up in talent shows because you used to sing um, Shantae Moore. It's all right. Yeah. It's Shantae Moore. It's all right. It's all right. Yes. Classic. <laughs> all right now. Go, go now. Yeah. Oh. I love it. Oh, we're going to tap in real quick. Woo. Look, she's, LaBelle, she already said, I didn't come on a Tuesday. <laughs> you let <laughs> me know what Tuesday so I can put it in the book. LaBelle, tell her Tuesdays are lit. Tuesday. That's when it go down. Dude, I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. And this time, going up on a Tuesday. Um, then I'm gonna see, Mila, when you come on, I'm gonna bring some 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 young, hungry, up and coming producers that got some heats for you too. So you can listen to their music. Okay. They can give you some records. Please wow. do. 
I can do that. I can do that for you. I can tell you this. We're top tier. We're we're. T- oh, I'm I, tell you I, I saw all your links. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh so you see, <laughs> you did your research, huh? <laughs> you said, "Damn, we got everybody on here, huh?" Right. <laughs> Got a links, boo. <laughs> yeah, but they all come back though. It's not just one. You know, everybody comes back. H Town, the friends of the show, they come. Hold on, H Town, one twelve, Allure. Wow. Um, that, um, still, um, these people that come back to the show. Wow. Julio, next. So, oh, um, change, changing faces, but everybody. Now I'm gonna add you to the list. I got my Julio. I don't think I'm my Julio, but one twelve, H Town, next. My brothers, we all do shows together still. Yeah. Presently, love them. Yeah. yeah, they're all they're all good friends of the show, and I met I met all of them in person, and they came on virtual. Oh, dope! Okay. So it's it's all love, everyone. Let's get back to you. Okay. <laughs> What's up, world? The Marty A. John Show. Listen, this is our celebrity edition of Tap In. We got our good friend Mila from Seven O Two. Mila, say what's up. What's up? <laughs> Hi, guys. Charlene, yeah. we have Key. Ooh. He's doing her rendition of I Still Love You. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, that's my song. Now you got the. Now this is Don't the one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mila, this yes. is one of your favorites by 702 Hum. This is one of your favorites. And, uh, this is the one. You hear me? Yeah, but do her justice. Do her okay. Justice. So if you're not feeling key, what's going to happen? Gonna oh, we're going to cut her. We need to cut her. Cutting. Cut her. <laughs> the bell. We don't hear this till when. Right now. Let's go. <laughs> Boom. Key, we're praying for you, girl. Woo. Tap in. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Give her a chance, please. See, everybody needs someone by their side. And I can't go on without you another night. Since companionship been done, my life has been so slow without you. You. Oh, Come on, the background. It don't take a rock scientist to know I love you. Okay. And it'll take a right scientist to know I need you. See if you believe that you and me can change the world someday. Will you believe me when I say, oh, oh, you, you, I decided I still love you, you. You, I decided I still love you. You, you, I decided I still love you. You, so why don't you say let's get back together? Cut it, man. I've been feeling it. Nothing <laughs> is going hurt, it's only get better. What? Think of what it has been like. You and I would turn out nice and together. Ooh, 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 oh, oh. It don't take a rock scientist to know I love you. I'm bored. And that it don't take a rock scientist to know I need you. See if you believe that you and me can change the world someday. Believe me when I say, oh, oh, you, you, I decide to still okay. love you. you. Mila, what happened? I heard you enough. Didn't cut it. <laughs> I heard enough. Um, she had a great tone, and um, she actually was killing, actually. But it was just bothering me that she she messed up a couple of words, but it's cool. Hell, I still mess them up, and, I, <laughs> and it's my song. Ah. Um, but for me, it was the hook. I know it's confusing as to like decide what to sing, but the song's called "I Still Love You." So I just wanted to hear "I Still Love You." I just Ooh. wanted to hear, you, you. I still love you, you, 
you. I decided I still love you. She was trying to, she was chopping. I just, just say those words. Just say I still love you. She couldn't really decide which part of the hook. And I get it, it's, you know, because she's trying to sing for real part and my part, our part or whatever. But it was cool. She was cute. But I had heard enough. It's all. It's all. I've been had enough. Remember, this is Marty <laughs> Johnson show. Tap all the way in. That part. <laughs> Y'all yes. so, are so mean. We needed some this feeling is what it with is. that. We needed some feeling with that. I, I didn't get it. You got, let me tell you, shout out to our good friend Shanice. Because when Shanice, Shanice, can we just. Shut the, things down, baby. Um, <laughs> Shanice's been, Shani's been on this show a zillion times. And actually, things yeah, down. We, we were just in LA. Um, Was it a couple weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. We were, Um, we went to, Shanice invited us to one of her shows. Okay. And, it's my first time I've seen her really live, live. She still got it. Oh, no, she wow. sang. Oh, she could sing. But when she came on here, came back on here to do the um, tap in part, she was still being the sweet, sweet Shanice. I said, Shanice, you're being too nice, girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice. I don't think you're ever going to get a not nice Shanice. Like, mm -hmm. I've I've only met her a, few, a handful of times over the years. But every time I meet her, she's so, every, so sweet. Super nice. It's, 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 it, that's the thing, y'all. It's it's tough when you're naturally a nice person to be mean, or not even mean. That's not even mean, but just to be like super, I guess, critical or have input and kind of hurt people's feelings. Like, and it's not even about hurting feelings. It's like when you're naturally nice, I yeah. think you're focused on not on that. Like, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. Um, so I I struggle with some of that, but like you know. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't care. And that's what y'all want. Y'all want somebody to read these people for filth. Because when you are nice like Shanice and myself, we get looked at as boys. You get a side eye. Who's fast, child. She like washing paint dress. She ain't got no personality. No, it's not that. You know, it's just a time and a place. I just be trying oh, to like. Oh, 12 came in, it was cutthroat. <laughs> A little, a little curse. Well, it's not a hot, hot mess now for real. But they, the, the two people have, that have sang already, they didn't sound bad. Yeah, they sound they, really, yeah. they weren't really stellar, but they weren't horrible. We want top tier because we're a top tier show. We want top because <laughs> we want people in because we want because we always like to get an artist that's ready for the big time because I want to present them to one what? of our multi platinum producers. So, do you want because also because actually that girl and the other person, the other guy saying get it together and um, I still love you with way more riffs than I sang it. Like Pharrell had me sing it. Fun fact: Pharrell had me sing "I Still Love You" straight with no vibrato, oh. with no ah, all that. No. Okay, so my it was basic Betty. I I delivered that song very simple and get it together was pretty simple as well. These people just hit you with the ah, ah, all the extra. Uh, that's not even in the song. So what do you want? Because y'all be wanting all them riffs and runs and Kimberell acrobatics, and that's what they just gave you that. I didn't give you all that. And y'all still was like, no. Nope. All right, we don't want that. <laughs> so what do y'all want from, from the peoples? Um, we, we like you, Mila. We like you. <laughs> you. You ain't come on here stuffy or nothing. Now I'll say, okay, girl, you're a little too stuffy for me. Oh, I would have told you on camera. <laughs> no, but you're our type of people. I, I like you. I like your energy. Thank you. <laughs> no, um, tell me, let's, since we're friends now, let's see if we can um, share. Um, tell me a celebrity that we know that wasn't so nice, that was jerk, that was an ass, someone Ooh. that was difficult. If Ooh. you share, I'll share. Let's share. Let's, since we're friends now. <laughs> um, ooh, that I want to that I want publicly. Please, we're friends. If you want to <laughs> share, I'll share. Um. Met a few. <laughs> We're friends, Mila. These days, everybody is so Hollywood, honey. Everybody has made it, baby. Um, yes, yes. Nerves, where's my nerves? Because I pride myself in being humble and trying to be, you know, down to earth and nice to everybody. Because to me, we all the same. That part. Okay. But um, I would say if I had to name somebody, I don't know. I mean, Everybody has off days. So I will say this. I remember being on tour one time um, with Brian McKnight, and he was nice to us. Okay. He was. He was nice. But I will say this one day, he was just kind of in a space, and he told us, though, he was just like, I'm a Gemini, so sometimes I'm, you might get nice, Brian, and sometimes, you know, it mm. might be the case. I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, yeah, he was like, okay. 
Sometimes I might be cool. Sometimes I might not be cool. And I was just like, hey, okay. okay. So well, very thank- true. So yeah. very true. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. We're, we it's definitely appetite. appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. But I love it. But I mean, at least he was honest. He's like, look, child, I'm a Gemini. He didn't say child, but I'm just saying, it's like, I'm a, mm-hmm. I'm a Gemini. So sometimes, you know, <laughs> you might get this, you might get that. And, you know, I've heard a lot about Gemini's and not that I'm not that bad. We're not heavy into zodiacs and stuff, but my group members are Gemini's and I'm a Pisces and you know, um we're not that I don't know bad. what that means. Look, I don't know what that means, but uh I think everybody got sides to them. You know what I'm saying? hmm Cause while I'm super nice and, and and sweet, I also I'm human. You feel me? So yeah. You'll put somebody in their place, I can tell. Real quick. Like. <laughs> Yeah. She about that life quick. Look, <laughs> this, but I can tell by the way the head moves. You know what I'm saying? That's just a certain type of way that that but head got to no, move. But it, takes, knows- but, um, no, sis, it takes me a while. It takes me a minute to get to go, to get there to go there. Unless it's just like straight up blatantly disrespectful, right? You know what I mean? Like it takes me a second because I don't like confrontation and I don't like tension. It really bothers my spirit. So I'll I'll like ignore stuff before I really like pop off. Yeah, okay. you know, but it took a long time. It did take me a long time to finally get to this place of, yeah, all right, you're not just about to be taking my kindness as weakness. Enough That's, is enough. Because yeah. they be trying to play nice people. I'm telling you, I just That's Erica Camp just posted about it on her Instagram, and I had to repost it yesterday. And they I reposted it about you know people trying to play nice people. Don't don't do us like that because mm-hmm. they're because it didn't hurt. It didn't listen, it hurt like that, baby. That's the case. I catch a case. <laughs> we like I act like I'm like I'm not even, you know, I'm not even that girl. It's like, yeah, I'm tough. I'm about to fight the world. Like I'm not even that girl. But it's just people have. I think people have a bad habit of trying to take advantage of people that they think are nice. Mm-hmm. And, and just because you're nice, don't mean. <laughs> right. That's um. Me. Look, I see you. We see each other. Okay. We see each other. Charlie, you got your calendar book out so I can get Mila on the books. And right, right here, always right here. We got the. Don't give me Hollywood talk. With a D E at the end. Give me back for Tuesday, please. We got okay. the sixteenth, the twenty third, and the thirtieth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have my people hit up your people, and we're gonna work it out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play another game. Look at which one to ask her. Might get my game together, please. <laughs> Mila, let's see. Look at your uh, background. In- what you got going on back there? Y'all know I wear glasses for real, so I didn't even see all that till now. Is that a piano back there, friend? Uh-huh. <laughs> going on. Okay. Let <laughs> me go play it for you, because I will. Go play, it for you. go play it. <laughs> no, next. Look, we'll wait. We'll save that for the next. Tuesday. We'll save that. <laughs> I wanted to ask. Um, yes. Go ahead, Laurel. In this day and age, like, what is the, your favorite part about the writing process? Like, you getting ready to write. What is your favorite part of that process? Ooh, um, that's a good question. My favorite part. I've never been asked in that way. It's usually just like, what is your process? But what is my favorite part of the process? I would say <sighs> allow myself to be free, knowing that I'm about to really kind of just escape, you know, and, and, and be my most vulnerable self. I enjoy that. Um, I love lighting candles. Um, I love it being really dark in the studio, like really dimly lit. Um, I love having red wine in my sessions and just kind of zone out and just feel whatever it is in the very in that very moment or, or something that I've been going through or someone that you know i'm close to has been dealing with that i can draw from you know um i think my favorite part is just being able to express just that liberation of it all you know just being able Mm -hmm. to like i said be free and say what i want to say with nobody else telling me how to say it or what to say or how to word it you know that feels great and then i just gotta hope the shit ain't whack (laughs) that part right there Thank you for that. Thank you. Absolutely. Charlene, we're about to say Charlene, so I can play five and ten with her. Oh, five and ten. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> no, I just what do you um in the next 
three years, I'll just say three years, where do you see yourself in what you're trying to do right now? Oh man, in the next three years. So in the next three years, I would like to be more established as a children's book author. Um, I would like to finally have a body of work out, like a full album in its entirety, like a full album or even a full EP mm -hmm. of, um, of music with just of just myself um, that people have played over and over and over that can be deemed as one of the best um, pieces of work from one of the most notably um, special voices of the 90s, early 2000s mm -hmm. that, people, um, that people had been waiting for for so long and um, can just play it over and over and over <laughs> and be happy. <laughs> Finally did it. She been talking about putting out an album for ten years. <laughs> so uh, yeah, finally, finally having out that 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 piece of work that, that people have been waiting on. That honestly was well worth the wait. And what else? And just being, I don't know, being in the next three years, I really want to be the most comfortable. Not comfortable so that I don't want to try and challenge myself anymore, but just the most content and happy with working towards being the best Mila that I could be. That you can be, I understand that. Right. Yes, like that. yes, yes, yes. Protect so, your space. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> honey, I'm overthinking, I overanalyze over everything and I pick apart everything. Mm -hmm. I'm such a perfectionist and I just want to get to that space of like, girl, you Gucci, it's good, you good. it's okay. <laughs> do, you, do you find that that's hard when you get into the studio? Because I do. Um, and you can't move forward because the song isn't sounding how you, you think it Why y'all think I ain't put out no, no whole project yeah. yet? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. It's like, <laughs> it's crazy because everybody's like, no, that sounds great. It sounds great. And you're like, no, I know I can do better than this. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Almost to my detriment. Like I got to really work on that though, because that can, that can actually really get in your, you yeah, know, can hinder you from moving forward. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, that's one of the things that I struggle with as well. <laughs> You're not alone, sis. I do it too. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you don't struggle with this game we're gonna play. Okay, come on, uh -oh, uh -oh. I hope you don't struggle. Um, <laughs> the game's called five and ten. Five and ten. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna give you a category. Mm -hmm. You guys name me five things in ten seconds. Ooh. Ooh, that's okay. Sweet. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example. You yes. see the gentleman here, his name is Boom Sound Lavelle. Um, mm -hmm. He does A&R work and he has his own situation going on. He's okay. from the Carolinas. Then I'll say, Lavelle, name me um, five foods from McDonald's in 10 seconds. Go. McNuggets, McFlurry, um, uh, fries, the McRib, McChicken, McFish. That's your time. That's your time, 10 <laughs> seconds. Okay. So you got right. the game. Yeah, yeah that means I got to hear it talk fast. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> so remember, I'm putting it on the screen here. Okay. Because um, Lavelle and Charlene is going to count the five that you get. Okay. You know, when we start, now I'm going to give you, okay. So five we got, right yep. We got, uh, that's going to be next <laughs> okay. week. I'm going to do that next week when she come back. <laughs> Okay, okay so, we, so we know Mila from 702 was the area code. Now she she moved to the West Coast. Now she's in LA doing her thing with the group and she's a solo artist. Um, she's an author, she's a mother, um, a songwriter, multi-platinum on the charts. However, Mila, Mila is a wonderful name, but besides Mila, music and Michael, Name me five artists with the letter M in 10 seconds. Go! <laughs> Michelle, Monica, Michael. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know. That's the time. <laughs> what about Maya? What about Mario? Yeah, gonna... You were about to say Mary. Michael Bivens. What about Mary? Uh, what about Nifa? Uh, what about Madonna? 
Madonna, Mary, Mary, Michael Bivens. I suck. Oh my god. Okay. So and you got the game. You got the game. Mess that one up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you already said. I said besides you. Okay. All right. So um, who do you like? Get my one again. Who do you listen to right now? If you can, who's out there in the industry right now that you like? Okay, whether they're from the '90s or now, um, who do you say? Okay, they're doing their thing. I love Alex Isley. I'm obsessed with Alex Isley. Her, of course. Um, I love. Um, oh gosh, Masego, who I just forgot at M. Um, I listen to a lot of up and coming underground artists. Um, oh my gosh, I'm crazy about. Luke James, I love me some Luke James, and um, yes. Oh and Haley, and <laughs> like that's the that's the younger kids. Like I try to I try, I try to stay you know tapped in a bit. Jasmine Sullivan, of course, my God, um, yeah, those are pretty in pretty much in heavy rotation in my playlist for sure. Yeah. I love them, and I, but I also love a lot of jazz. I let I'll, I'll be killing Layla Hathaway. Ooh. On that level as well. I can see you doing a jazz album. I can see that. Uh, so much, like oh the my real God, I've slows, soul trip. I, I I can see that. I, I've always said that I was going to do a jazz album. Um, when I get um a little older, not that much older, honestly. Hell, I ain't that young. And um, <laughs> that's bucket list. Nice. <laughs> that's bucket. Girl, definitely start one of on it, one. girl. Go ahead on and start on it. I'm for sure, right. Stop playing. I'm tripping. My my best friend has the biggest crush on. Oh, she gonna kill me for blasting her. What is the artist? Um. Oh my gosh, she loves him so much, and I love his music too. And I'm so mad I can't think of it, but I'll tell you later because I can't think. Okay, let's continue with the game. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what, oh my god, I'm sure he came out on music. What the hell, he was out on music. I was help me, y'all. Did y'all watch verses with music? Oh my god, he came out with music and he sang a song. And why can't I think of his name? But I listened to him a lot, and I can't believe I can't think of his name. I'm so whack right now. Like, you watch that money. Which one? The verses with music. Oh, you're talking Gosh. about Anthony Hamilton? Yeah. Her um, my, He came out and sang with music because he did, Um, he sings, he has a song that uses one of music's songs. And why the hell can I think of it? I can't uh, remember. Oh Carry on. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Well, shout out to Anthony Hamilton. You know he's a friend of this show, too? He's been on here. Hey. He, yeah, he's, he's great. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna we're gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it nice since um, you're still on the road. Are you do you get um do you, do you still like touring? Let me ask you that. Yeah, I love touring. I mean, it's a little different now that I'm you know a mom and a little older. So to do it how I did it back in the day, I don't know that I'd be able to do 33 cities like we used to. But <laughs> but yeah, it's always a good on, blessing. In goes on an um 75 city tour with um. New kids on the block right now. Them girls are doing it. Listen, I'm listen. When I tell you, should 702 get the opportunity, I'm there. You know, because that's a blessing. Like those, oh, yeah. those things don't come by. They're not as you know, they're not as available anymore. You know, to artists like us, especially. I mean, you have them. You know, you got reunion tours and whatnot. But it's like, listen. It's not like you know the game has just changed, and then with COVID and everything, things are just different now. The world is yeah. just different, mm -hmm. so you better take it. Look, if it's there, you better it's take so it. Good. Take it. So, so good. We got another thing. Like I said, there's a lot of artists out there, and I want to ask Mila. Mila, name me five artists that begins with the letter. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> it's a, it's an easy one. Yep. Name me five artists that begin with the letter C as C. In 10 seconds, go. Charlie. Hey, oh my God. No, Charlie. Charlie Wilson. <laughs> what? Char Charlie Wilson. Uh, 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 oh my God. Time. Um, Time. Cube. Rabbit, um, <laughs> Cube. Sierra, Chris Brown, CeeLo, Carrie I'm Underwood, not. Carl I'm Thomas, Cassie, Celine Dion. Oh, <laughs> Look, I don't know these people's names. Let's know their songs. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk to you all night. So I'm gonna have you do a drop for the show. Now but watch, now watch what I'm going with you. Watch I'm gonna go through the album bit just because I'm gonna be like, name artists who start with B and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be trying. <laughs> no, she's a been she's a baby all night. Be like, hey, uh no, you're you're Dang, all type of people. You, got, you got me looking, man. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's, it's a cute <laughs> game. <laughs> this game gets everybody. This game gets everybody. Right. It makes you think. 
it does, but I but you know it's crazy because it's like we know all these artists. Dang. And then they tell you like, damn, yeah, you're right. <laughs> right. Cause you like, how do I come on, Chris Brown? Come on. But it's see. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Trip. I'm you, I'm look, Mila, I know you're familiar with drops, but I want you to be creative. Don't give me deep boring ones like some other people. Let me show you what Ooh. I'm looking for. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Yes, sir. John, John is down. I'm rocking with the Marty A. Johnson show with the state of John. If you ain't saying it twice, and if you don't add the Don, you ain't saying it right. What's up? What's up? It's the S, the L, the I, the M. And right now, it's turn the pitch up. My boy, Marty A. Johnson. Let's go. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? It's Taj from SWB, and I'm on the Marty A. Johnson show. Woo! <laughs> hey, Mr. Exotic Pop, man. You know what time it is, man. It's time. For you to tune in to Marty A. Johnson, man. We live right now. Hey, what's up? Anthony Hamilton here and rocking with my man, Marty A. Johnson, on the Marty A. Johnson Show. Right here, coming from where I'm from. We keep it North Carolina all day, every day. Where's she go? Oh. <laughs> you there, man? She's good. And she's trying to do something. Okay. Yo, she's wonderful. Yes. She, yes she, she's there awesome. we go. Okay. She, she's she's all type of people. Oh, Mila, your um your your um stream went black. Okay, you good. Okay. Yeah, it sounded like it sounded like there I am, but it sounded like it's a bad connection. Y'all didn't hear that? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never mind. I'm black. Okay. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do. I, I saw everybody's uh mm -hmm. but you do every you can do whatever you want to do. One, just make sure you're not chopped, okay. your head's not chopped off. And um, okay. you can say whatever you want. As long as you say Marty A. Johnson, Marty A. Johnson show. You can sing it, hum it, you can Marty break dance. A. Marty A. Johnson show. And hold on, I'm trying to get this tilted as head. Okay. Marty A. Johnson show. And, and nothing else specific, like nope, a time of day. Do, you can be creative and do whatever you want with it. And um, just okay. in your mind, just go three, two, one, and boom. Just get yourself together. Take your time. Right, y'all. You see, I'm trying to see. I'm like, oof, honey, I'm hot. I'm melting over here. Okay. Marty A. Johnson show. And is it, um, you're watching? You're watching, right? Right. You're watching, yes. Just go three, All two, right. one, and boom. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Mila. And guess what? You know how I do, and you know how I flow. But you're not flowing unless you're watching my boy, the Marty A. Johnson show. Peace. That was cute, but give me another option, please. Oh, it's Friday. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mila, from 702. And guess what? I'm watching. No. Here we go. I'm good. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mila, from 702. Where my girls at? If you ain't tuning in to the Marty A. Johnson show, you tripping. You know how I do. You know my steez, baby. We right here. All the time, every time, every Tuesday, and every other night. I'm coming back, just so you know, with my boy, the Marty A. Johnson Show. Peace. That's it. I love that one. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I love hey, that. Baby, I need to take this hat and this wig off. I'm hot. Bye. Yep. Look, first <laughs> up, how was we? How, how was we? <laughs> how, was I mean, you. How, how were we? Are we okay? Great. Y'all are super fun. I love it. My friend Lavelle up there, he look quiet, but I rock with him. Where, 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 oh, there you, there you look quiet, but I rock with you. you so know. let me know when you want to come back. We can definitely reach out to the team. Lavelle definitely ain't quiet. No, no, I, yeah. no I love it, though, because sometimes he be doing too much talking. Lavelle, well, you cool. He's smooth. <laughs> so yes, so I know you want to come back. You're more than welcome to. But we can going to catch me like I know you and the girls are on tour right now still doing we're shows. About, we're actually about to be Y'all y'all in North Carolina or about to be in Charlotte? Saturday, next Saturday. We're going to be in Atlanta. That's right. That is so crazy. I'm going to be there. Y'all going to be here. Okay. Um, Hold on. If we need to drive back up there, look, it's only three hours here. I can come back. No. Just, just, just tell me I need all access backstage passes. I'll come back. Oh, That's all right. We're going to work it out. We'll get to the next one. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so follow me on all social media. It's uh, the same on all of my handles at It's Mila. And um, we'll be in Charlotte next Saturday. And oh my gosh, Detroit, I think August 3rd or August 6th. Oops, sorry that I don't know. Um, we'll be in Detroit in August. And Durham, um, 
gosh, you know, dates are constantly being added. If y'all want to do something fun for Halloween, come on across the pond and meet us in London. Ooh. It's a big show. It's for Halloween. It's October 30th. It's us. It's Tweet. It's genuine. I mean, it's a, it's a whole bunch of us over there. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, But in the meantime, in between time, you know, follow me on Instagram. I don't post a whole lot, but I did just release a children's book called Zach's Favorite Socks. It's available um, digital, di digitally, and I believe it's also on barnesandnobles.com and in store. Let me make sure about that. And also, um, I have a podcast available wherever you listen to your podcast called Single And. Um, we have four episodes up right now, and nice. we're on a little hiatus, but please check those four episodes out, Single And Podcast. What else is popping? I'm always, of course, working on music. I am finishing up what I started years ago. So hopefully you will hear this music that I've been working on for so long uh, before this year is out. If not, I'm going to definitely just drop some gems, you know, some nuggets, some new singles, just so that I can keep y'all, you know, keep y'all interested and just see what y'all think. Y'all let me know if y'all like the songs, you don't like the song. In the meantime, in between time, I've got so many songs out there already i have a video videos out there already on youtube um think about me that's cute thank you and i, I have a you know i also have an old video out there well, i shouldn't say old but that i've done in the past music so shout that video is still out there song my song um featuring him and and there's a video so i'll give it to you i love that song it's gonna forever be one of my faves and i got uh yeah just type in mila and there's songs out there children's songs out there all of my singles that I've done in the past few years that are out there. Um, Do what I feel like. Desert Love. Now you're mad. Um, uh, th uh, think about me. Yes. So just type in my name and I have songs on all digital platforms. So thank y'all for the support. I appreciate all the love y'all have given me with 702. All the love y'all have given me, um, you know, with my solo efforts. I do a lot of just experimenting with music because I can at this point, being that I am kind of just like, not really a new artist, but I am a solo artist that's kind of, you know, I, I'm starting from scratch, if you will. I could kind of like do what I want to kind of see, see what, test the waters. I like to do that. And if y'all like stuff, y'all know y'all got a lot to say. So y'all be letting me know. Y'all be, you know, be letting me know. I already know. And so I like to, <laughs> but I appreciate Stay out of your own way. Out of your Thank own you, way. and I. But I, I. But that's why I release things that I love and I like, and I, I mm -hmm. experiment and I try them out in the studio. And I'm like, I love it, but I don't even know if y'all be loving it. But I just put it out to, to see because you won't know, you know. Right. So thank you for the love and support. And we, I love, we, we would definitely want you to come back in August. Yeah. Please, yes, yes. we do <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> just, just let us know, and I'll oh, Tuesday. Yes, I'll okay. on a Tuesday. Thank you, friends. Bye, y'all. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Okay, how do right. I do this? Okay. I got it. <laughs> she was excellent. Yes. That was fun. Yeah, that was. Lavelle, how was she? That was fun. That was perfect, damn near. <laughs> that was great. So, look, we ain't going to be here all night. I would tap in more, but no. I mean, it was all about Mila. Um, <coughs> so, excuse me. I don't got COVID. Um, Charlie, what's your <laughs> social media? <laughs> Charlene underscore Monet on Instagram. Also, Candylicious Dreams on Instagram. And Charlene F. Pridgen on Facebook. LaBelle? <clears throat> Y'all just follow the Boom Sound Factory. More updates on the way. Boom. And look, um, Trooper will be here on Tuesday. Yes. Um, shout out to the ladies of Allure. I seen them chiming in. Ooh. I they watch. <laughs> they girls. Um, so look. I'm in Marty A. Johnson, everything. Mila, you was wonderful. I was going to play her video at the end, but I'm going to wait till she come back. Give us something to look forward to. Okay. That was dope. Good, good night, y'all. We will see y'all on Tuesday because today's Thursday. We got to go. <laughs>